this video shows an uncemented total hip replacement. These are the x-rays of a young male with post-traumatic arthritis due to an acetabular fracture. Templating is done to locate the center of the hip and to determine the size of the uncemented or cementless prosthesis and to locate the center of the hip. The patient has been positioned in the lateral position and the hip is approached through a posterior approach which is centered over the greater trochanter. The short external rotators and the capsule are divided in one layer. The hip is dislocated easily as the posterior wall is deficient. The osteotomy level is marked with the bovis and the neck is osteotomized with an oscillating saw. The head is removed and bone from the head will be used later for as a bone graft. After removing of the head, exposure of the acetabulum is obtained. All the soft tissue attachments to the neck are divided and the head is preserved for obtaining bone graft. This is the head and neck of the diseased head of the femur. Now one can see the wall of the acetabulum which is deficient and this is the floor of the acetabulum. The margins of the acetabulum are denuded of all soft tissue attachments and the rim is cleared of the labrum circumferentially using a bovis. All soft tissue is removed. Reaming is commenced with the smallest size reamer and sequential reaming of the acetabulum is done. 